little uh, technique. This is how you catch grouper. <laughs> With you, little weenie arms. You just reel it in the rod holder. There's another one. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Just hang on. Just oh, hang on. It. You don't have to reel. Just hang on. Crank if you can. You got a monster. That's a big fish. Fish. Oh yeah. The way you hit it looked like a big oh, fish. Yeah, yeah, that's a big fish. Just tighten the drag a little bit. Keep dragging them. Just tighten it a hair. Just keep dragging them. As real when you can. That's a giant. Is he still fighting? I'm gonna try to get him off the bottom for you. Okay, this is a 30 inch gag. Just hang on and reel. Just start cranking. That is a big gag. That is not bottom. That is not bottom. It's 100% a, a keeper grouper. I felt every inch of that fish. He's big. Yeah, that's a grouper. Nice fish. Just crank when you can. That's a big fish, dude. Oh my gosh, look at him! Oh, Let's we'll see a keeper. Where the hell is he? Oh, that's a keeper. Good job. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, oh yeah! yeah. Alright, oh, put him on the floor. He's a keeper. Mother of her! <laughs> Good job. Small. <laughs> That's a keeper. Oh, that's yeah. a keeper fish. Yeah, I'm gonna pull me into the water by help. <laughs> you keep him out of those rocks. You keep reeling. You keep cranking that fish. He's not in a rock, right? All right, you keep him off the bottom. Maybe I should have kept it in gear longer. Try to get that fish to the surface. Hang on, is your drag running? No, maybe it's the bottom. Oh, it was a fish at the beginning. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> so it was a fish. <laughs> very weak. <laughs> that guy's tiny. You made him look huge. <laughs> Man, I thought it was a big fish. Turn the boat around. Well, at least we got one. Is that your first group of trolling? Yep. <laughs> Look at the size of the plug compared to him. <laughs> there's big ones out here. We'll find them. I'm trying to see what you hooked them over. I'm trying to see if there's his house back here we could find. Right. Sometimes you can backtrack and find his home. I marked the spot and then you hook the fish right after I right. Oh, there's, see, look at that. There's, there's a lot of rocks in this area. Oh, yeah. And that's why a lot of people say just troll this area back and forth, you'll right. find them. Yeah. And that's what I kind of want to show you guys is like this area is just so scattered. Right. It's not about one spot. Right. Yeah, it's about covering this whole area. And then you do it enough times and you'll pinpoint, see like I made a triangle here? Right, yeah. You'll pinpoint where the better fish are. Right. We just got to find where the big ones are. All right, put them back out. I started fishing south of here and like eight foot of water and I would just bottom fish all day. We'd sit there all day with two big baits on our favorite spot and just wait. And you'd get two big 30 inchers and then nothing else the whole day. And I'm just like, I'm tired of catching two fish. I want to go somewhere that in 20 foot, I want to catch 20. Even if they're short, I want to catch more fish. But over the years, I've started to realize catch the bigger ones in the shallow water. You just gotta have a lot of different rock piles and not fish one. Exactly. You catch two on that one, you catch two on that one, two on that one, you just you limit it out on three rocks. Yeah. You just gotta have enough rocks that you just move to the next one. Yeah. And that's why people troll. Right. You gotta shake yours. Yours is doing something weird. I think I got grass. All right, now it's diving again. Let's make sure that rod tip is shaking. Oh, well, there it is. That's your first spot right there. Try to memorize on your reel how much line you're letting out each time. I let out a little less line. A little more line. Play with it. Yeah, because if you're hitting bottom every time, then you're letting it out too far. So basically, start short. You know, have it in the rod holder. If you don't hit bottom for a while, then let it out some. Yeah. So just let it sit for a minute. If it doesn't touch bottom, 
Give it another 10 feet. It's that light braid. So when I troll with 80, they don't dive that good. But this 50 to 65 pound braid, they're diving a lot better. It felt so big, I think it's a snapper though. Is there a mangrove? Oh, that's a red grouper. That is strange. A red grouper in seven feet of water. Oh, that's pretty though. What the heck? This is pretty. For seven feet of water, you don't see red grouper in seven feet of water. Really? This is like a 40 foot of water fish. It's a huge fish. It was on the whole time. Holy shit. I was reeling some pole. Yep. It's huge. It just went down on a rock and broke. Yep. So make the big pull. Get him up. Don't let him in the rock. He's in. Start hitting the rod. That's a big gag. Well, we've had two tries with grouper. Both rocked. <laughs> Can we move the boat and go behind? Yeah, we could. Hold on. Don't lose that fish. Don't put too much pressure on him. Just be easy on him. Just keep tapping the rod and try to wiggle him out. Is he moving? Yeah, he's moving. All right, just keep consistent pressure. And as you wiggle it, he might come out toward you. Looks like he's moving. Yeah, he's moving. Just keep pulling. There you go, pull him out. Don't, don't let him hit the rock. Oh my gosh, look at him. Really? Really? Yeah. He ate the lizard again. Yeah. What's the size? 24. Dang. That's crazy. How strong they are. You, so, you saw how it just took off. Right. But you can see how scarred up he is from going on the rocks. Uh, yeah. They go in and flare their gills out. <laughs> to hold him. Yeah, that way you can't pull them back. So you got to wait for him to close his gills uh, okay. and then you pull them out. So what does the line do? Just like irritates them? Yeah, when you flick the line, it pisses them off and they'll come out. <laughs> Big gag. See what it looks like when they actually... Yeah, that's a grouper. Nice fish. Just crank when you can. That's a big fish, dude. We finally got a gag. And we got a keeper gag, too. He's dead weight, ain't he? Oh, yeah. Well, he, I'm hoping to see a big bucket mouth come out of the water. <laughs> She's fighting the lure over here. <laughs> dude, that is a solid right fish. Right He's on the surface? Yep. See him? Yep. Yeah, big bucket mouth. All right, pass one, we got a fish. Yeah. Yesterday we were six for six. Come on, he's actually fighting now? Yeah. If he's fighting, then it's usually a keeper grouper. He was pumping it right when I grabbed it. He was like, boom, 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 boom. All right, let's see a keeper gag. They're usually not small out here. Grouper time, come on. Let's see a keeper. Where the hell is he? Oh, that's a keeper. Good job. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Just hang on. Just oh, hang on. It. You don't have to reel. Just hang on. Crank if you can. You got a monster. That's a big fish. Big fish. Just keep... It's not in the rocks, is it? No. I think you are in the rocks. I was trying to drag him out, but I think you. I think you let him down there. Oh no, it's, it's... Are you dragging him? I need to keep it in gear. Just hang on for a minute. Just put it in the rod holder. Oh, sh damn it. Start cranking. She ain't playing around this time. No, I'm cranking this off the bottom. That's definitely a grouper. Hold the hand, hold the spool for a second. Just hold it. Yep, just hold it. All right, let go. Is it a fish? It is coming toward us, right? You got a fish too? It's crazy how every time I go over that spot, we hook one. Nope. Oh man, really? Yep. Yeah. 
decent one. Toward us? <laughs> like, we don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Is it even a fish? I gotta keep going. Let me hold it. Oh, that's a huge gag. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. god I'm gonna try to get them off the bottom for you. Okay, this is a 30 inch gag. Just hang on and reel. Just start cranking. That is a big gag. That is not bottom. That is not bottom. That is 100% a keeper grouper. I felt every inch of that fish. He's big. Come on, you gotta hold the rod and fight him. Make it look. You're cheating. You cheater. <laughs> well, I got one plug left. <laughs> this is it. Our only hope for a grouper. <laughs> the keep He's definitely a keeper grouper. That's a 26 to 30 incher. <laughs> it's a big fish. And grouper fishing's intense when it works. Come on, you gotta pick the pole up and fight it. I picked it up and fought him half the battle. I felt he was a big fish. You can't even feel him when you're doing that. <laughs> there he is. Oh yeah! Alright, put him on the floor. He's a keeper. Mother of her. Good job. That's a keep. Oh, that's no. a keeper fish. Yeah, would have pulled me into the water if I helped. <laughs> really strong. You can. You got one. He's on there. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah, come on. Right, right. That's a big fish. Is he still on, or did he fall off? It looks like he just fell off. I mean, it did fall off. Fish. Oh yeah. The way he hit it looked like a big oh, fish. Yeah, that's yeah, a big fish. Just tighten the drag a little bit. Keep dragging them. Just tighten it a hair. Just keep dragging them. As real when you can. That's a giant. Is he still fighting? Yeah, pull off. He's like laying up. All right. Well, we should be dragging him upward. Do you think? Yeah. That is a big one. You're still losing line. Down just All right, tighten the drag of hair and just try. Yeah, it's, not whole, dude. it's a big one. Holy you didn't have to do nothing. <laughs> you didn't even get a chance to fight him. You just held. You just held on until it came to the surface. That's cheating. <laughs> well, that's the technique, though, to win every time. Yep. You will never lose if you keep the boat at full yeah. throttle and wait exactly. till he hits the surface. Yep. <laughs> it's like real. It's like reeling in your anchor buoy. <laughs> you wait till it floats. It, it is another keeper. Yeah. Nice. Well, this is the technique to put him in the cooler. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a 25 incher. Oh, yeah, that's a beast. That's a big fish. Don't grab. Okay. I was going to say, don't grab the lure, grab the fish. <laughs> I don't know what it is with her. <laughs> oh, it is a big one. Oh yeah. All right, just keep cranking. Honestly, you can hold the bail. It'd be better wait, just wait, hold wait, the no, bail. No, I think you, just tighten just, the drag of hair. Or just, just let it. I would just tighten the drag of hair. I'll drag them out. Okay. Tighten the drag, and I'll drag them out. No more. Drag. That's a giant fit. Oh, did he just fall off? I don't know. All right, keep it tight. That's a big fish. Look at the bottom we're marking. Nope. That's another keeper. One hand band. One hand band. Look at her cranking with one hand. What the hell is this? This is grouper fishing. Yeah, buddy. Rod holder fishing. Right, I'm gonna turn the boat so she gets more her side. 
Why hasn't this fish surfaced yet? Is it big? You wouldn't even know you're fighting in the rod holder. That's another keeper. Dude. See how they curl up and like get stiff like that? Well, that's what they do in the rock. Oh, okay. That's their defense mechanism. I got you. Well, here's the technique. This is how you catch grouper. <laughs> With you, little weenie arms. You just reel it in the rod holder. There's another one. Oh, I got a lure in my foot. I felt the hook go right through my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got a big one. He's fighting all the way to the boat. We only got one freaking lure up. You got a big fish. He's diving. Yeah. All right, pick that rod up. Crank. Hold up. There you go. There you go. Big fish. All right, put it in neutral. Oh, he's not even big. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> oh my god. Why do they look so big? <laughs> right? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they look so big. So it is crazy. We've only been using one plug and catching all these fish. Right. There goes another one. Yeah. God, they look mean. Like if you look at the top of its head. Come on, be a big snapper. First drop, big snapper. Yeah. They're good eating fish. Yeah, funny. I bring home a few of them, a few grouper, and you got plenty of food. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a hog. <laughs> no, it's a snapper. Damn. Hogs fish fight way harder than that. The kids would love this fishing, right? Super, super easy. Another grunt. Yeah, that's a grouper. <laughs> a grouper? A baby, baby one? Grouper on the trout rod. That's that big one. That, see, that's a big snapper right there. Yeah. Big snapper. Do we need to net it? That's a big snapper. Look at that. Oh, pretty. Well, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's a snapper chomp. Look at that. Chomp the right in half. Yeah. It feels like a lot of snapper down there. Mine, liter uh, mine literally hit the bottom and within a second I had one. Big snapper. That's a big one. She makes everything look huge. That's another nice snapper. Good job. Big one. Everything looks big. That's a snapper. Nice snapper. That'll feel the cooler. He just got eaten by Goliath. Or that's a big gag. Whatever you got just got eaten. We had that happen to us twice yesterday. Oh, the big pole's going too. Hey, big pole. Hey, real, 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 real. Oh, I dropped it. That's what a massive grouper looks like. That's a big one. Get him away from that Goliath. Grouper. Nice. Double hook up. Come on. Come on, be snapper. He's got a stupid grunt. You're gonna outfish him? Grouper. He's flinging in grouper. That's solid. It's gonna be a gag. Small one. Every time you think you got a good fish, it's a baby grouper. Big snapper. All right, watch out, he's flinging them in. That's a big one. Big ol' snapper. That's a giant mangrove. Got a big one. Snapper. I see red. Nice snapper. Hooking him in the, hooking him in the back. <laughs> Oh, I just got eaten. Oh, man. Just got eight by... Yep. Oh, shit. He got eaten by a Goliath. Or it's a huge gag and I can't stop him. 
It didn't feel that big. I feel like I could stop him on a big pole. Yeah. I can't oh, stop him on this. Some? I can't stop him on this pole. Oh, shit. He went right into a rock. The leaves when they're still biting. Yeah, I know. There's, they're not going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> We're not used to this kind of fish. Right. I, I'm used to fish till you run out of bait. This is a lot more fun than red fishing. I figured you got the boat. This is the kind of fishing you should be doing every time. Right. Yeah. You come out here, you find a good rock pile, you sit on it, catch grouper, snapper, grunts. That's got head. Yeah, I see vibration on the head. Oh, mango. That's quality fish right there. Yeah. Or is it just a heavier grunt? He's on the surface like a snapper. It is a snapper. Dude, you're feeling the cooler. <laughs> See what I mean about fishing off the back? That's, yeah. the, that's the way to do it. A lot of people don't understand that. They'll still keep fishing off the front all day. <laughs> For the next two months, yeah. I wouldn't even think about red fishing in this boat. Right. You know, like yeah. October through December, it's all about grouper. Right. And then January through February, it's all about snapper and sheep's head. And then March rolls around, it gets windy and everything sucks. So then you're pretty much back to trout fishing. And then once it gets hot, April, May through August, September, then you can go for redfish and snook. Any more shrimp? Yep. We went through 100 shrimp that fast? <laughs> so I guess we're heading in then. Had a great time, man. I mean, you guys are set for any time you come back out now. Right, yes. That's the best part. Yeah. I would hate going with somebody on their boat and having no idea where we fished. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Where I get out of it, I get one time trip out. Yeah. Put me and catch a couple grouper, and then you got That's spots enough. for the rest of your life. <laughs> Once you get it narrowed down to what depth you want to be in right. and what plug to throw. Right. That last one, the blue one. Right. <laughs>